I want you to listen closely to what we're about to say. In four square miles of the city, just 1% of the city's population. That's where 25% of all homicides in Kansas City have occurred in the last 20 years. And we know one neighborhood, the Santa Fe neighborhood, is right in the middle of this. It's a neighborhood that KCPD says has been historically divested in. So now they and the city say they're investing in it. We are empowering neighborhoods to no longer accept violent crime on their blocks. We're connecting people with needed resources and services to get to the root causes of violent crime. They're the pilot neighborhood of KC Common Goods 360 program. KSHB 41 News reporter Megan Abundas is turning the mic over to neighbors there to see if it's already working. So we've got a lot of disinvestment. We have a lot of homes that need uh, serious help. I've witnessed a lot of violence in the neighborhood. A lot, a lot on my own block. 20 blocks of homes that Marquita Taylor looks out for. When you have areas that are abandoned houses, and, and blight, it's gonna fester crime because it seems as if it's an area where nobody cares. Do you feel like that's what's happened? Absolutely, absolutely, that's exactly what happened. She and this group of volunteers. And Lord, we're asking you for protection. Yes. Are sick of the violence. It's a hard thing to bury your child before your child bury you. Mm. Lord, so they're working to change it. Yeah. They're getting to know each and every neighbor. What's your name? How long have you lived in the neighborhood? Um, what's the beautiful thing that you love about the neighborhood? Just conversation. They say crime reduction is working because they're here drawing people out. Last year, the area had nine homicides. This year, three so far. Thousands of hours invested within these 20 blocks. They removed 170,000 pounds of garbage and blight offered internships to young people, added speed bumps and land bank property improvements. Do you know about KC360? I do, I went to the meeting. Okay. Oh, Looks like we're getting the word out. So far, yeah, people kind of know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's good. Our neighborhood meetings have gone from five or six to 30 or 40. Wow. The neighbors are coming to the meetings. They are super engaged. You're seeing people sort of open up. The neighborhood is sort of coming together. Yes, it's a slow process. Mm -hmm. We've got, you know, some neighbors who are, tell me what you need. Mm -hmm. And then we have others that are still very cautious. They're waiting to see. And others that are, are just living day to day. Is the caution warranted? Absolutely warranted. We still have crime. Let people know that this can stop. We don't have to, you know, put up with this violence and everybody can do something. So we just want to raise consciousness. Wow, sounds like it's making an impact already. Megan, I know on Monday, wasn't it that you went out and you looked at how the Oak Park neighborhood is combating crime, something that's applicable here since it backs up to the Santa Fe neighborhood? Yeah, so just how much crime is that neighborhood seeing? Oak Park borders Santa Fe neighborhood, so it's just a little bit further south, and if they face the same challenges. And neighbors I talked with earlier this week are scared. On Monday, we heard gunshots during our interview, and they say that happens around the clock. So they wanted us to share with you the crime statistics that KCPD gave them so they can really tell you how much they want and need help. In just 10 months, we're talking 150 car thefts, 14 murders, 174 aggravated assaults. The list really does go on and on. Now that story is on our website. Nice to see so many people working to try and make mm -hmm. a difference. Yeah, make a difference, yeah. yeah. Megan, thank you.